Well, hello, fellow paparophiliacs. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures, etc. Do you know what a paparophiliac is? It's a person who loves paper. And I think we qualify that we absolutely love paper of all kinds. So anyway, what I thought I would do today is work with some of the scraps that I have laying around. I have made it a goal, <clears throat> excuse me, at the end of every project, I'm going to take whatever scraps I generated from that project and do something with them. Make some ephemera or uh, brighten up a journal page or just something. So I'm a little behind, so we'll just see what I can do here. So what I'm bringing along is this little container and it has uh, just some coffee dye paper in it. Here's a little um, ruffle that I made. Here's some wallpaper in here. There's uh, ta uh, clothing tags and um, some of some of these types of little things, you know, like you get in the mail with your, uh, you know, fake, these little fake credit card things. I've got some paper that I've stamped on. Just a bunch of random, totally random stuff in here. There's a napkin, uh, some music page, book page in here, just a bunch of stuff. So that's one box that I'm working out of. The other one is similar, except they're just tiny. You know, most of these are tiny, just little bits and pieces of torn things, like the inside of an envelope and uh, some packing paper that I thought had a pretty design on it. <laughs> Here's some, uh, the end of a book page that I stamped with this giant stamp that I have. I was thinking I'd make some washi tape. <clears throat> and just some random stuff in here. So um, a little bit more wallpaper, some book page. So there's there's that one. Then I also have this with some random bits and pieces of string and sari silk and ribbon and a little bit of a tape measure. Uh, some uh, what is this? Organza. So just more rat. Uh, oh, that should be in there. That should be in the other box. Mostly just uh, fabric-y type things. And then I have this little container with some circle punch circles that I punched out, some tiny bits of lace, some some more string, and just some little bits and bobs that I thought well. Let's put them together. Let's use them. So let's get started and have some fun. So I think the very first thing that I'd like to pull out of this box is this piece of wallpaper. <clears throat> so if any of you have seen my video where I talk about the score that I got of all the free wallpaper sample books, seriously, call your paint stores and see if they have any wallpaper books for uh, the sample books that they want to get rid of because once they expire there's really nothing they can do with them so they were really happy for me to take those off their hands so this to me looks like I could make a little mini journal out of it so why not let's do it so I'll make a I'll fold it here make a cover and maybe it'll just end up being um, something that I tuck in a journal or a notepad or something like that. But why don't we do that and let's see if I can find some papers to put in here that might fit. Let's see. That's a likely suspect. We have, um, oh, here's, a like, here's some more, some coffee dyed paper. Here's some handmade paper. Oh, this is going to be fun, you guys. You know, honestly, I really shouldn't be giving it this much thought. I should just do it. Right? Because thinking too much is what um, kills creativity, right? That's what I keep hearing anyway, and I think it's true. Okay, well... I'm not going to think about it too much longer. I think I am going to use some of that 
Or I also have this scrap bit of wallpaper here that's attached to this um, music paper. I don't think I can tell. Oh, look. Oh, coming right off. Let's see. And there's not enough. But, let's see. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to glue that on the best I can and then I'll just piece it together on the other side. So excited! I just today ordered a um, glass mat. Does anybody have one of those? I've been watching a few Tim Holtz's videos, and I've seen uh, the, some of the stuff that he uses. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I really like I really like the idea of that glass mat that he has. It just looks so cool. I looked out the window today a little while ago and um, you can see Mount Baker from our house and it looks so pretty today. Totally covered in snow. Just absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let's see. Hopefully I'm staying in frame. Cut that off. Now, oh my goodness, look at that. That totally fits just right there. And if I want to, oh, you know what I should do? Instead of putting this here, why don't I save that and put... Uh, something else and I can make a pocket out of it yes yes I can make a little tuck spot out of that I like that a lot better let's cut this down so we live on an island but um, it's not as glamorous as all that. We still have to, I mean, we just, we don't have to take a ferry or anything like that. All we do is, um, it's just a bridge that gets us to the main, mainland, I guess is what you'd call it. <laughs> so I'm going to cut a little bit of that off. I think I can. I think I can still, let's see, how much of this can I cut? Cut that much. Why don't I just do it like this? But living on an island means that we're not right next to a lot of stuff. <laughs> so anytime we want to go and do anything anywhere, it's quite the drive. So shopping takes a little bit longer. Um, Getting basically anywhere takes longer, but you know, that's okay. Where we live is pretty and we like it here. Moved out here a couple of years ago, oops, right after my husband and I retired and um, we've just really loved it out here ever since. Okay, let's put a little notch in here. And 
gotta ink it, right? Let's ink it with some vintage photo. Yeah, I'm really excited to get the glass mat. I think it'll make inking easier. It has a palette on the side for alcohol inks. I'm excited. Okay. You guys always end up with a pile of scraps when you're done? Boy, I sure do. And it just seems like with our busy lives that it's hard just to get ourselves in the habit of using them up. But that is what I have determined to start doing. So I would like to do a video like this um, at the end of every uh, project so that we can figure out what to do with all, with all these scraps. We can figure it out together. Maybe get some ideas. If you have any ideas, please leave me a comment below. We'll see what we can figure out together. I will probably sew this my machine first I will trim it I'm already liking the way this looks I love being able to make use of whatever it is that I have, for better or for worse. I found this wallpaper at a garage sale, and it was a whole roll. I don't think it was, I don't recall, but I don't think it was opened, or if it was, they hadn't used very much of it because it was a really big roll. And I just fell in love with it. It reminds me of a kitchen that I used to have when I was a kid. Or a young adult. I guess I was a kid. I was 18. Okay, I'm going to um, pause the video and I'm going to sew around this. Okay, so apparently my camera shut off. And I'm not really sure where that happened. But I made this little stamp out of these little snap together stamps. And I made the word serendipity. So we're just going to carry on, hopefully from where we left off, which now I have no idea where that was, but I'll uh, check it out and we'll see. Whoopsie. Serendipity. Okay. Let's just tear this off. I think this paper was one that I might have accidentally baked it too hot <laughs> in the oven and it kind of came out a little burned on the edges. But I didn't want to really just, you know, toss, toss it when it still has some use. Anyway, I like the, the color that it came out. And what we're doing here is very serendipitous, right? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to call this serendipity. Let's see, what else can we put on this little page? We've got some book page here. Um, we're going to go in the little pile here. I'm 
again, I am just working from my scraps. Just trying to make something pretty out of them. A little flower. That's kind of cool. Um, can we work that in there? Sure, why not? Don't overthink it. Okay. Let's get a little ink on you. Put you right on the edge. Let's see. Can you guys see? I think I keep getting out of frame. Okay, let's get this on first. And use my Scotch Create glue. on top of that or that on top of this. I think like that. But for this one, it's a little bit heavier. Put this one over the top here. And then let's tear that off. this on with some glue stick. And how about that up there for a little balance? Why not? that little flower. Here we go. You know this little flower has been um, floating around in my stash for so long. It keeps popping up and I keep thinking ah, I just don't want to use it here. I don't want to use it there. But I think I would just like to use it there. There, that page has some character now. But why don't I um, maybe put a butterfly on there or something? Spent some time fussy cutting butterflies the other day. Oh, look. 
I think that's perfect. Does anybody else love fussy cutting things as much as I do? I know some, some people love it, some people not so much. But this is one of those things that I like to do in front of the TV um, just as just to kind of keep my hands busy. Okay, so it's coming along. Needs a little something more. I kind of like that. Let's put the pin back in here so it doesn't dry out on me when I'm not looking. Let's get the goop off the top though. And then I just end up putting the pin through the goop <laughs> and I think it's in the hole and it's not and so it just goes through and grabs my fingers. So what do we need in here you guys? It's got music page already. Surely we can use more of these scraps. Look at that. I have a doily. Why don't we work on the cover? Let's cut these off. Um, maybe. Maybe not yet. Okay. We need to zhuzh up this cover a little bit, don't we? I have tried inking this. Well, I guess it's kind of taking it. Let's let's use this one. Let me get the pad for that. It look like it's been hanging around in the attic for a long time. You know, when I was a kid, I used to, we lived in Illinois, and my aunt had the coolest attic ever. She had um, this, this trunk just full of stuff, and... I remember one of the things that was up there was this big doll. And I don't know if it was truly big. I mean, it was like as big as me. Or if I was just so little that it seemed big. Um, but I just couldn't wait to go there. She also had, um, they had these pedal cars that and, and a curved driveway. So we, as kids, used to get on these pedal cars and drive around and try not to hit all the cars that were parked. Because usually when we were there, you know, it was a bunch of family that was there at the same time. And so everybody was parked there. Oh, I love this. Look at it. It's showing up these crackles. Can you see that? Okay. I, I think that looks great. Oh, I'm getting excited. Um, so... I don't really want to cover it up. But anyway, as kids, we just loved going up there and seeing in the attic, seeing all the stuff that she had. Me and my cousin, Debbie, used to go up there all the time and just play <clears throat> for hours and only, only coming down when it was absolutely necessary. You know, when we were being called to come down. Lots of happy memories. I don't want to cover up this pattern because it's so pretty. Maybe what it needs is... Some lace. A little bit. 
bit of lace. Here's some rick rack. Here's some Maybe I can make a little cluster or something out of this. How's everybody handling the pandemic? It's been quite the challenge, hasn't it? We've been doing okay though, because it's like I tell everybody, I'm an introvert with a craft room and I know how to use it. <laughs> sure about this little guy. Ooh, the scrap of fabric. Okay, I'm like the world's worst fabric terror. Let's see what happens. <laughs> fabric scissors. And let's turn this little guy over. So I can kind of see the pattern a little bit better. Okay. Not thinking too hard about it. thing I'm going to do right now is rummage for buttons. So I think I'm going to glue this on up there and continue letting my creativity flow. So I think when the camera was off, I was telling you this awesome story about this great estate sale that I went to, but I won't know for sure until <laughs> I edit the video. So if you didn't get to hear it, I guess you'll have to come back and hear it in my next video. <laughs> but it really was an awesome adventure. That's my computer telling me I've got mail or something. Okay, so we'll put that there for now, and then I'll probably put some liquid pearls or something on there. Uh, let's see here. Now that's cute. Mm, it's kind of the right size, isn't it? For this one. I 
if I did a little bit of that and a little bit of this. What would this look like inked? You know, when you sit down and do stuff like this, <laughs> you have no idea how it's going to come out, right? But you just got to let those creative juices flow, and um, in the end, it's all going to be okay, right? I mean, it's, what is it anyway, right? It's just, it's just paper, so why stress? Wild honey. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. Um, do we need I think we need a butterfly. I still think we need a butterfly, you guys. That one's too big. I'm looking for the Goldilocks butterfly. Let's see, do we have any awesome phrases? This is my little box of phrases. I'm a book harvester. Okay, almost ecstatic tranquility of mind. Oh, look at that, you guys. Who doesn't want almost ecstatic tranquility of mind? Are you kidding me? Do we not all absolutely need almost, almost ecstatic tranquility of mind? So my, um, I hope I'm not alone in going through books and just finding cool phrases to randomly use. Okay, before I put these on, I'm going to sew my papers in and I'm just going to do it on the machine. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And here's what I did. It is um, just sewn on with a straight stitch. I have, I think, black on one side and brown on the other in the bobbin. And uh, that's how it came out. So nice and sturdy. It's easy sewing through the wallpaper. It has a nice feel. I really like it. It gives it um, some nice structure. And uh, so far I'm liking the way this is turning out. I hope, hope you're enjoying this. Let's ink up this little butterfly. And I will probably keep checking to see if I'm in frame. There we are. Okay. So let's get these on. I'm really looking forward to um, getting my order from Amazon because I also ordered some of the Tim Holtz collage medium because I think it'll be really helpful for stuff like this. You know, working with old papers, you don't want it to warp. Um, okay, let's put that guy down. Same thing. So I'm in the process of making a journal out of some little golden book encyclopedias and I have a video on how I did the cover so far. Oops. So I'm going to be putting some stuff in there pretty soon. So I hope you'll join me for that. Oh. 
I almost, I almost had um, not so ecstatic tranquility of mind because I thought I lost my little phrase. <laughs> Where should the butterfly be going? Flitting from flower to flower. My bottle of glue here is at that stage where if you don't put the cap on immediately, it wants to come bubbling out. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. Head him over in that direction. Okay. Now I'm thinking I don't want to put my liquid pearls in here until the very end because the first thing I'm going to do is touch it and it's going to ruin it. So that's going to have to wait. Let's see, what else do we need in here? <laughs> I just love those polka dots. I have a little bee. And since he's a honeybee, let's put him in wild honey distress ink. And we'll put him here. But first, let me put something solid under that. Cute. And I also have one of my favorite little things, this little stamp, and I'm going to get him inked up. Why, why do we give our stamps gender? Cute. I like that. And let's see. Any, um, any other great stamps? I have plenty of stamps, that's for sure. So I have this one that I can put, I think I'll put it on this one, and I think I will do it in green. How about peeled paint? But this is one I want to do a test one, just to make sure that I, I get everything on there that I need, and that I like the color. Okay, that came out well. I like that. So, now instead of this, I think I will use one of my little CD trays under there. For a little backing. Okay, I like that. It gives a little bit of interest. So we have that little chickadee. My little chickadee. You still see? There we go. <laughs> Another little thrift store find. And I think we'll just do 
this little guy in Wild Honey as well. But I better give it a little backing, hadn't I? How about in the center, instead of cutting these strings, when I leave them together and I can make sure, can you see? Okay. Take some of these little circles. Oh, some of them have flowers on them. Awesome. There's that one has a flower. Let's see if I can get an Edith Holden one. Part of Edith Holden. Here's one. Oh, good. Okay, where's my vintage photo? Okay, so now all I'm going to do with this is um, I'll take a little art glitter glue. Get it to the edges. Try to get the words right side up. Let's grab my threads. Let's leave you there for a second. I think I better tie these off at the top just, just to make it a little bit neater. Okay, all right, now let's play with this. Okay, can you see that now? Now I'll just snip. All right, so that's just like a little, a little bookmark. So my husband's name is Mark and we met when we were working together and he was kind of training me. And um, <laughs> He has a very dry sense of humor, sometimes super corny sense of humor. And so I said one day, I said, I have a question mark. And he says, well, I have, I have an exclamation point, Kathy. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is going to be fun. And it was because I married him almost 16 years ago. <laughs> Um, I am just about ready to call it done. I'm kind of wondering if I want to put a button here, and I think I do. So let me go look for a button. All right, I'm back. I've chosen a button, and I've decided to use this one. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Um, and instead of just gluing it on, I think I'm going to go ahead and sew it on. So um, because I want to put a a ball pin behind it and a little dangle but I'm not really sure where to place the holes so I am going to enlist the help of um, some sewing tracing paper that I have so I'm just gonna put it like so and then I'm hoping this will transfer the holes you know the placement of them onto the, did it work? It did, barely, barely, barely. I don't know if you can, if you can see that or not. Um, here we go. 
Okay, so it's not really showing up too well on the camera, but you can see that little orange dot right there. There's a couple more around it, so I'm going to do it again. This time I'll use the back of the needle. Oh, we'll go through. <laughs> All right, so let me get it in the right spot. Maybe if I kind of color it a little bit with the needle, maybe that'll help. Am I in frame or not? No, of course not. There we go. Okay, so I'm coloring a little bit with the needle, sort of. I'm moving the needle around a little bit of a circle. All right, now I can see it. Now, if you can see right here, oh, there, there we go. There's my little dots. So that's where I'm going to poke my holes to sew in my button. I'm just going to use this needle to do it. One, two, three, four. Okay, I have some of this gold, uh, what is this, quilting thread or something? I don't know. And it's such a cute little button. So I really like getting free crafting supplies and people really like to throw stuff away. So I put um, an ad in the Facebook marketplace for our local area inviting <laughs> or asking people if they would let me help them declutter. And I did get some responses and uh, one lady gave me a whole bunch of old buttons and broken jewelry. I'm gonna go back down so that I'm not There we go. Um, and I haven't had a chance to go through them yet, but there are quite a few. <laughs> oh, look at that. My needle's too big <laughs> to go through. All right, back to the drawing board. That's one of the things I should have checked to see if my needle was gonna be small enough to go through the holes in the button. And these are usually, these are the needles that I usually use to sew in signatures, so they're pretty big. Okay, that one goes through. Now if I can just thread it. Oh, first try. Let's try this again. All right. Nice, I can see my holes from the other side. I don't want to tear the paper, I think I just did. Okay, that's cute. So now I want to take my bulb pen and attach a little charm to it. And I was thinking about this cute little key. But I think he needs a jump ring. Don't you? Should have grabbed a jump ring. Okay. All right, so I have my jump ring.
Get my two little pliers. Pull this thing apart. Get this little key on. Put it back together. Uh, let's get this over. over the button. <sighs> That's cute, you guys. All right, let's uh, do one more thing. Can you see, mind free. All right, my battery's gonna die on my phone, so I'm just gonna put that one little thing there, little um, liquid pearl. And I think we're gonna call it done. I gotta turn off my phone before it dies. So thank you for joining me today. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures. Uh, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.